Hey y'all, it's Cherokee Starfish. And Specific Pixel. And yes, we are back with the next installment of Hunt Materia Sorting Action. It's oh. Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> Hope you guys are ready to play Tetris with your inventory. <laughs> now, thankfully, at least your backpack, if nothing else, is infinite in here, pretty much. That is true. That would add a whole new level to this game if you actually had, like, item slots. Yup. <laughs> okay, so if I remember correctly, we sort of did the mini game for this place, Fort Condor. Mm hmm. But I think it's time to move the plot along. Absolutely, because um, you can f fight here at Fort Condor many times. And each time that you do, um, there is a different reward for winning the fight. Hmm. Um, so there are like various f items that you may or may not care about, uh, and you can come back here at different points in the game to obtain them. Mm -hmm. Like as you, um, uh, as you hit certain milestones in the plot, basically. Okay. Um, but most of them are like, they're not really that great or, or stuff that we can obtain somewhere else poss possibly. Well, either that or it's just it's not worth the hassle mm -hmm. um the only one is um like the very last battle which i believe is forced by the plot mm, of course uh-huh and um that is the only one that really matters because they give you a special materia for that one and it's the only way to get it okay uh but otherwise that's it so yeah i'd say let's uh let's move on for the entertainment of our viewers <laughs> all right so where were we headed? <laughs> uh, well, we need to head to Junon, which is going to be that little dot on the coast, kind of over to the west. The northern one up here? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, I see we already have a suggestion in the chat. Um, yeah. Oh, you... is it time to do that? Well, you do have the option here. Um, this is the earliest that you can actually unlock the first optional character in the game. Okay, cool. You can wait till later, so you don't have to do it now. So we'll leave that up to you, and if you feel like uh, if you feel like doing it, if nothing else, it'll allow you to get a little grinding in before you go to Junon. If you okay. Do that. That sounds cool. Yeah, let's do that. So where am I going instead then? So. Um, the first optional character uh, is a is is the token like young girl ninja character. Um, I actually used to think that she was not obtainable until after you made it over to the Western continent. Oh, okay. Um, but uh, apparently you can actually get her as early as as soon as you come through the mithril mines on this side um, because you can find her in basically any forest on the world map oh so even like this little place that i was grinding at exactly yeah and in fact yes like i said in chat um it was entirely possible that when you were grinding for cash for fort condor in our last episode mm -hmm. um, that she could have popped up then it would have been cool if she had you killed oh oh look at that well um, hey, hey, hey. Do I just beat the shit out of yep, her? Just, uh, okay. Just take her out. I wasn't expecting her to show up so soon. No, absolutely. That is perfect timing. I love how every time we're discussing something and, like, I'm trying to explain or you're asking a question about something specific or, or whatever, and then it just happens as we're talking it's like about it. like the game knows. I believe in the heart of the, um, code, I guess. Ran her over with a chocobo. Join my party. <laughs> Basically. Oh no, we killed her. Okay, so before you talk to her, you may want to run up there and use the save point. Alright. The reason for this is because beating her in combat is not difficult at all. Uh. <laughs> you lied to me again! <laughs> I 
spent so long grinding money last time. It's fine, you'll get it back. <laughs> I hate this new character. Yeah, you'll learn to hate her. She's very hateable. <laughs> Listen, we're trying to show off the whole game, and so often I feel like in, like, for example, we went through the entire Zork Nemesis series and only took, I think, one death the whole time because I forgot something. Hmm. So it's like, we really should be showing off more of the game. So this is... So do I just run around in the forest yeah, again? Yeah, just keep running around in the forest until you encounter her again. I want my money back. <laughs> you'll, you'll earn it back grinding, don't worry. I have the steel materia. Can I steal something am, from her? I am not nice. Um, actually, I I don't know if you can steal from her or not. You might be able to. I can't remember if she has anything. Darn, I was kind of hoping she'd show up again. But no, seriously, um, joking aside, don't use the save point, obviously, because that will happen. Mm -hmm. She tricks you. Uh, being a ninja, you know, she takes advantage of that. Um, but... Uh, Fighting her is not nearly as difficult as actually getting her to join your party because you have to go over and speak with her. Mm -hmm. And then um, as part of that conversation, you have to say the right things. If you say the wrong things, then she runs off and leaves like she just did. Okay. So, of course, you have multiple opportunities because you can just always grind until she spawns again. Uh, so that way you can discover by trial and error what exactly it is that you need to say um, if you don't already know. In this case, you're in luck because I actually know what you have to say to her. And so um, if you would like for me to, then I can tell you so that we can just do it in the first try. I want to try it myself first okay. and see if maybe I can just get it in one go. There ah, you go. good. Here she is. Now then. Uh, first blade beam. You're not going to see this one, I don't think. Ah, oh, nice. Yep. There's no additional mob, so it doesn't split, but... <laughs> I'm not an unreliable narrator. I'm an unreliable teammate. <laughs> Let's be specific. I can't believe you tricked me like that. <laughs> All right. There you go. Can't believe I lost. This music is so disarming. Spiky headed jerk. All right. So how do you want to do this? Do you just want to try and pick the right things on your own? Or do you want to guess and then I'll tell you if you're hot or cold? I'm, I'm just going to try it myself. Do not help me. All right. And the worst thing that happens is that I run through the forest a little bit more and find her again. Yeah, because as you can see, her spawn rate is not that low. It's not like trying to catch a shiny Pokemon. Right. The so game wants you to have her in your party. Let's see. She and the other optional character, I believe, um, were originally meant to be forced into your party uh, like everyone else. And they were cut for time and then made into optional side characters, basically like, sidelined because... Uh, they were running up against the um, uh, the deadline for the game and like the budget considerations and stuff. And you're doing great so far, two for two. I'm gonna leave. I mean it. Pick the wrong one. Freaking buy. Well, two out of three ain't bad. Dang. Yeah, and that is really a case where, um, like, the game doesn't punish you too badly for picking the wrong options because, again, mm -hmm. you can always just grind until she spawns. No right. problem. Um, and then through trial and error, as I said, you'll figure it out. So anyone can get her, and it's not a huge burden to do so. But it can be aggravating if you are, like, you know, just want to have it done and over with. Right. Thankfully, for the other optional character that we'll get to later, uh, there are fewer steps. Oh, good. Um, but he is... Well, I would argue, he, 
He's significantly less aggravating to get in your party. Ooh, good. Back attack. Yes, awesome. Um, that's definitely true. Like, there's fewer steps, but he is also more out of the way. But you don't have to, like, grind for him in the woods, though. Oh, well, that's cool. And this kills two birds with one stone. You wanted to uh, grind a little bit anyway. I needed more money. Yeah, Fort Condor costs a lot because they do charge you 4,000 <laughs> gil a pop to fight the minigame. It costs so. so much money. Why? Yeah. I just, I still don't remember it costing that much. I don't know why, but for some reason that just... This didn't feel right. You're getting really good at the uh, spinner bars on Tifa there. I am always good at slot machines. Well, that's great because uh, there's not one but two limit breaks in this game where you have to do that. Oh, good. Boom. Kick that bird in the face. Shazam. Tifa's so cool. I can't wait to unlock more of her limit breaks. <laughs> yeah, you should be getting close, honestly. Why is Tifa not the main character? She... That's closer to correct than you'd think, actually. Oh, is it? Like, this is definitely Cloud's story, but you can already see from, um, you know, from his backstory, his flashbacks and things like that, uh, that Tifa plays a huge part in it. And arguably... Um, I would say that the party you have right now kind of are the main characters. Okay. And everyone else is largely secondary to the story being told by Cloud, Aerith, and Tifa. Or, sorry, Cloud, Jolene, and Texas. <laughs> and yes, yeah, someone just said in chat, like, some limit breaks, um, they take different things to level up. Some of them are tied to, like, you have to kill a certain number of enemies. Um, some are, you just have to use them a certain number of times. Hmm. That's kind of the default. Does um, the game ever tell you where any of that is? No. Aw, oh, dang it. No, unfortunately the game is not clear about that. It hmm. just wants you to use the limit breaks. Um, but the, 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 I guess, counterpoint is that you're meant to use the limit breaks anyway, so if you just do that as intended... Um, then they will level up, and you'll be fine. So, basically, if you just spam limit breaks... I plan on doing that. I mean, that's what they're there for. The only time I think that you really should consider saving a limit break um, is if you know that you are going into a, um, a boss fight. And you want to take a full limit bar in there with you to start off the boss fight strong. Okay. Which is definitely recommended against some of the later bosses. Um, and the optional side bosses are like super bosses that they have. Um, there is, you know, there's no reason not to do that. And, uh, yes, in fact I do. Um, because of the way that the game goes. I mean, if you ever want to see her ultimate limit break, then, yeah. That can be frustrating. Oh, for uh, Jolene's yeah. limit break? Because most of her limit breaks are like healing and stuff. Uh -huh. So if you want to level her limit breaks up, if you ever want to see her ultimate limit break, then you basically have to grind pretty hard for it um, and just let her kill stuff while everyone else kind of defends uh, because otherwise it will take so, so long. Hmm. The game is pretty complex in the background with uh, how it determines exactly when these abilities are going to level up. And that means that if you want to level a specific person's limit breaks up, then the best thing that you can do is just have everyone else defend and heal and have that person kill everything with limit breaks. <laughs> okay. I love that every time. Do the summons count as kills? Uh, the summons do count as kills, but not limit break kills. Oh, dang it. Yeah, see, so sometimes it's about... Ooh, ooh hey! Fire leveled up, yeah, nice. So, sometimes it's about, like, the character has to get a certain number of kills. Sometimes it's you have to dis dispatch a certain number of targets with the limit break. There 
There you go. All right, so go in there, check your magic. Ta -da. Ooh, fire so two. you now have access to fire too. Nice. So there you go. Um, you have gathered enough AP, and you already had an all material level up before. So I think this is the second time a materia is level up for you, but it's the first time it's a spell materia. I think so, yeah. So when an all material levels up, all that happens is it means that you can use the you know, all target or AOE version of the attached materia twice per battle instead of just one time. Um, when a spell materia levels up, that's how you unlock more spells. So now that fire materia, you can unequip it from Jolene and you can put it on anybody and they will have access to both fire and fire too. Oh, good. And if you have an all materia attached to it, for example, then you will be able to cast fire or fire two and hit all targets. But the number of times you can do that is still limited by the level of the all materia. So if you cast fire two on everybody once and then fire on everybody once or fire two twice, then that will use up the all materia, see? Okay, I get it. So you have to keep track of the separate limits or uh, levels of your different materia. Yeah, you kind of had more success finding her there in the little forest. Yeah, Ninja Girl has decided to book it. Well, because now you're actively, like, looking for her and... It is, uh, some people call it the streamer's curse. There are many streamer's curses. It's kind of like how if you're in theater, you know, you don't say the name of Macbeth, you call it the Scottish play. Oh, right. Or, or you don't say good luck, you say break a leg, right? Right. Um, it's bad luck to wear a certain color, to have specific types of flowers in your dressing room. I think for streaming, it's the same thing. Um, but I have found in my experience that no matter what you are talking about, or what kind of skill it is, or whatever it is you're trying to show off, um, as soon as you attempt to do it for an audience, regardless of your level of competence, mm -hmm. or how many times you have done the thing, you will always get it wrong when you try to show it to somebody else. So, like, basically, you know, um, I pranked you with the first one, um, and then you, you know, just didn't pick the, the right dialogue option that doesn't mean that she left so. her, like, good. No, 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 no. No, it's just, like, we got her twice really close in a, you know, in a row. Now that you're seriously grinding for her and trying to actually get her in your party, like, she'll never spawn again. Uh. <laughs> it's basically what I'm saying. It's like when you're building with Legos and you shuffle around in the drawer and you're looking for that one specific piece and you just can't find it, and then when you give up and stop looking for it, that's when it floats to the top. Let's try down here again. Now that that's what you need to do is just focus on grinding and then she will appear like the very next time as soon as you give up on specifically finding her when you're not looking for her anymore nice ooh now you might actually get to see what blade beam looks like like when it divides and hits multiple enemies I go. needed that healing. <laughs> yeah. Shazam. Oh, nice. Yep, see, and then it divides and hits other targets for reduced damage. So it's the first AoE limit break, basically. It is significantly reduced damage, but it's still good. Because the first beam hits really hard. Yeah, that wasn't anything to turn my nose up at. No, not at all. Almost 200 damage. Mm -hmm. Man, that Matra magic has really come in handy. It really has. I'm so glad that we got that. Hey, blue magic is always great. It's always a little weird, but it's great. And some of the best and most important spells and abilities in Final Fantasy VII are blue magic. Hey, another all level up. Nice. But I mean, you're familiar because you have dabbled in Blue Mage unlike Final Fantasy XIV, for example. Right, right. And you've played other Final Fantasy games, so you know some of the classic Blue Mage abilities, um, like Flamethrower, Aqua Breath, right? White, right. White Wind. Um, White Wind, in fact, is the one that the Zemzalets have, that you have to, like, manipulate them in order to get them to use it on you because it's a healing skill. Okay. Um... Also, uh, Big Guard is in this game. And it is one of the best skills in the game. 
basically like you know protect and shell at the same time on the whole party. That's for so good. A drastically reduced cost, like that's really good. I like how the different animations um, operate for the various magic skills. Like, when you cast a spell, it's the green Mako energy flowing out in waves from your character. Right. But when you use an enemy skill, when you're using blue magic, um, it's the red energy drawing itself into your character towards the center. I didn't actually notice that. Mm hmm That's neat. Yeah, there are a lot of little details like that in this game. And of course, I mean, there's so much going on with Final Fantasy VII, historically and mechanically. Um, like many high-budget, um, ambitious games throughout video gaming history, uh, it encountered some roadblocks or some obstacles in the way of, um, you know, translation issues and localization, of course, and in production in the form of, um, you know, budgetary limitations and, uh, deadlines. Like, they just, they had so much time to make the game and so much money and then they had to put it out to market, and so there are things that they wanted to do that didn't make it into the final version. Um, that includes, as I said before, some of the, these optional side characters, and um, then as well, in terms of storyboarding, I think that the plot and the characters themselves and many of the, uh, the milestones of the, the game's story took various forms at various stages of production. And you have to keep that in mind when you look at the final product, uh, that, yeah, it's flawed. Definitely. And I think that the flaws in Final Fantasy VII are more visible than the flaws in something like Final Fantasy VI. Mm -hmm. um, which I use as an example, not just because it's also another really great game, and probably, I think, hands down... Uh, the next closest contender to seven for best game in the series. Oh, really? Yeah. That, like it that much then, huh? Yeah, uh, the MMOs notwithstanding, because those are in a different category of their own. You know, so I, I love Final Fantasy XIV to death. But um, seven is my... Seven and one are my favorites. And then six is like... so uh, Such a close second that it's... Um, you know, the, there's almost no... There's almost no gap. Like, you know... Do that thing with your fingers. Those are really close together. Like, just look how close <laughs> those suckers are. So close. Um, but because of the medium of Final Fantasy VI and the format, the way that they told the story, the graphics that they were using, um, you know, the fact that it was on the Super Nintendo. There oh, thank is. God. <laughs> um, that means that it does have its flaws, but they manifest in different ways. Final Fantasy VII was the first 3D Final Fantasy. You know, and that's a big deal. Um, it was on the PlayStation. It was their first one on that platform, which is also a big deal. And they were setting standards. They were doing all kinds of stuff with this game. And they ran into unique problems because they had not done a game like this before. Right. So I think that those flaws are a lot more visible in this one. But then the little things, like the animations and stuff and the sound effects, they stand out even more as spectacular because of the same reason, you know, because of the ambition, because of what they were doing at the time. All right, talk to her again. You got it right last time, so she's going to ask if you're afraid of her. Petrified. Absolutely terrified of you, tiny teenage girl mm -hmm. that I have defeated three times now. Yep. right now of course last time when she said that she was going to leave you told her to go ahead so you know this time you got to say wait a second still have something for me I know you want my help because I'm so good sure you want me to go with you that's right I guess yep there you go it's like, yeah you put me on the spot Foo, 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 foo. If you want me that bad, I can't refuse. And just say, let's hurry. <laughs> if you ask her what her name is, then she just leaves. What? Really? Yeah. See, and then that's when she says, wait, don't you want to know my name? 
All right, congratulations, guys. We have a new character. Let's name her. Oh, my goodness. I hate to think what Yuffie's going to be called. Yoko? Yoko? Yoko. Why Yoko? Like Yoko Ono? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a name in mind for her? Uh, anything, any suggestion that I might have had has been driven completely from my thoughts by Yoko. I want to name her Noodle. Noodle? Like the gorilla's girl, Noodle. I, I don't go here. You don't, What? You know this, like I, I know of, of of the gorillas, but I don't know. Oh, just stop talking to I me. I don't know the immediately. like the the rich tapestry of backstory and lore that accompanies the gorillas fandom. I can't believe that they that have I'm woven for themselves you right now. Oh the, my god! Just why are you acting like this is new? <laughs> I thought you knew more. I thought you at least knew her name. I no. Oh boy! I okay. do not know their names. I mean, I I was mistaken about the lyrics of Feel Good Incorporated for 20 years, I think, until I only recently found out what the words actually oh my are. God. Okay, well, I'm going to name her Noodle then. Not Yoko? Not Yoko. Not Yoko? Not Yoko. The fans picked Yoko. Mmm, the fans did pick Yoko, but there's only one fan watching right now, <laughs> so... Um... Uh, maybe we can combine the two. No. Yoko Noodle. Yoko Let's Noodle. See. Well, I mean, you have uh, nine spaces. Um, I look how ominous that is. Is like a prophecy. You're going to regret. Um, you know what? Okay. That scares me enough. I'll just name her Yoko. Nuko? Nudoko? No, no, definitely not that. No, don't do that. Yokoodle? Yodel. Mm. Yodel. Oh. Name her mm. Yodel. No. <laughs> Name her Yodel, but don't spell it like E L, like <laughs> the act of yodeling, like a Swiss person, but Yodel like Y O D L E, so that it looks per like deliberately misspelled. <laughs> Goodness. I. And then that can be her voice. She's Yodel, and be like, mmm, ask me to join your party. You did. I'm stepping away from this. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna stick with Yoko. Okay, well, that's fine. I'm Yoko! <laughs> hey. Good to meet ya! Hey! Guys! Just as I planned. <laughs> I look, that right there. Nyuk, nyuk, nyuk. That, cause <laughs> you know how there are many types of anime laugh. There is the hue, 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 and the foo, foo, foo. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so that is usually the mark of a character's personality, like a really strong defining characteristic. This definitely nails down Yuffie's personality. She is absolutely the kind of person who would say, nyuk, 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 nyuk. Like, that's just, that is upsettingly accurate. All right, so now you've got her. Go ahead and let's make sure that she's safe in it. Remember to save your game often. There we go. And then uh, you may actually want to mosey back down to Fort Condor and stay at the inn, considering what your uh, health and MP looks like. Yeah, it doesn't look great, does it? If nothing else, that'll save you some potions and ethers, which we're always into. I'm going to be at the end of this game with 200 potions and ethers and just... No, don't be me. Don't. Because I have said on the channel before that that is a bad habit of mine for sure. Uh, is that in both like Dungeons and Dragons, although I'm trying to break myself of that habit, at least in tabletop. And definitely in video games. I tend to save my healing items well past the point when I have so many that I don't need to be saving them anymore hmm. so don't make my mistakes <laughs> like this time yes absolutely now, if i remember um, correctly the last time i used a potion you got on to me for it well only because like you only have a few potions and ethers right now 
So you do want to save them for emergencies. If you've got low MP and can't cast a cure spell, that's when you want a potion. Um, and like right now, you've got an inn you can stay at for free, and it's right there. So like kind of, it's a why not situation. <laughs> I mean, I agree but, with you on but that. But beyond point. that, yeah, like when it's reasonable, just but when chug is it those reasonable? potions. Chug them. Ugh, stairs. I feel like that's, I mean, you could write a whole dissertation on that, on the context involved. Because you have to answer many questions, right? Like, do you know if there's a boss coming up? How far into the dungeon are you? How long has it been since you saved? How much MP do you have? Can everyone cast a healing spell or just Aerith? <laughs> because too often that is the answer I feel to that particular question, at least. Who here has a Restore Materia equipped? Oh, just her. I see. Well, there we go. So Pull up, got a new now, character. Now you have Yuffie in your party. You can tuck her away and never ever put her. Is she any uh, good? In your active battle configuration, she's. I mean, all of the characters are usable. Um, I mean, I feel like <laughs> hmm. their 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 limit breaks define them more than anything else. Um, there is some question of stat growth mm -hmm. and stat distribution. Absolutely. Um, that is a factor, but especially at higher levels, even though you're going to see some differences, once you reach a certain level of power, what it really comes down to is that the limit breaks and what they do are the main defining difference um, that identify each particular character and determine whether or not you want them in your party. Beyond that, it's really personal preference. Like, if you like Red 13, or sorry, Clifford, then uh, keep Clifford in your party for the whole game. He will absolutely function um, as a member of your party. You know, he will do the job that you need for him to do. And your strategy and your gameplay will not suffer for having Clifford in your party. Oh, yeah, he doesn't have long range, see? but she does. Boom. <laughs> Love just it. chucks her glove at him. It's like a key punch or something. But, uh, so it's the same way with Yuffie, you know, you have to be in love with her limit breaks, I think, because you're gonna need to use them. Um, but beyond that, it's just, if you like Yuffie, put her in your party. If you don't like Yuffie, don't use her. There you go, the city of Junon. Hmm. This is not what I expected when we saw it on the map. Yeah, what happened? It's so run down. We almost never have anyone other than the Shinra people visit this town. Okay. <laughs> well, time to explore. No. So there's a very special scene coming up that you're going to... You'll either in, really enjoy it and think that it's a fun treat, um, or you're going to hate it and question the sanity of the developers. Ooh, I can't wait. I feel like most people fall a little into column A, a little into column B. If you see a weapon you want, you better buy it. But, well, I mean, sure. Yeah, I guess that's true. 17 potions. That all seems good, honestly. Yeah, I don't think he has anything that you don't already have access to, so it's just... He doesn't even have quantity. any weapons. What the heck? Right? <laughs> Why did he say that? says weapon shop, and all he's got is armor and potions. Got one armor and potions. And armor. Ever since Shinra built that city up above during the war. <laughs> no fish in the water, it's so polluted. It's character acting. It's very good. Thank you. Who are you people? Where did you come from? We're protagonists. <laughs> says Cloud. I've never seen that fella before. I've okay. never seen any fella before. I'm... I wear really dark sunglasses all the time. <laughs> I was born with them. Never taken them off. Well, this is a cute little room. Nothing here, though. 
This, yeah, you're about to meet the character who lives in this room. All right. So, of course, you can see the doorway over there that goes into the city. Yeah. And a soldier I'm going to have to defeat. Not a soldier, just a grunt. <laughs> Thankfully. <laughs> if it was a soldier, you'd know. Hey, this is Shinrink's elevator. <laughs> Don't be snooping around here. But that's all I do as a protagonist. Jinkies, says Cloud. Uh, Aye. No. Aye. Now let me in. Aye. Mm, fine. Guess I'll have to find another way in. You will have to find another way in. Mm. As is tradition. There is a big arrow over there that says up. <laughs> uh, that's that's a, a red herring. Yeah, there's no also a big intended. spiky blade on it. So Because uh, you actually want to go down. Yeah, go. I saw these stairs a second ago. Hey, Mr. Dolphin! That dolphin's belly flops are just so painful to watch. Priscilla? That's Priscilla. Priscilla the dolphin? No, no, no. Priscilla is the girl talking to the dolphin. Oh, okay. For a second, I thought the dolphin was talking. No, no she's trying to get it to say, Now you say it! And the dolphin just says I mean it's a dolphin she's just like hey are you <laughs> bad guys I'm trying to imagine what kind of voice Priscilla has and I have to resist the urge to just be like <laughs> it's like no you're wrong we have nothing to do with the Shinra that's how it is I don't believe you get out of here <laughs> This little girl needs to cut back on the smoking a bit, I think. Priscilla, eh? <laughs> I haven't heard that name in years. <laughs> ah! Yep. Oh no! Surprise, you have to fight Priscilla. Oh, goodness. Oh no, Mr. Dolphin. Be careful, Mr. Dolphin. I mean, be careful, Mr. Dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> I slipped out of character for a second. <laughs> No, little girl, don't... Oh, that was... Mm. Yep. Pris we hardly knew ye, Priscilla. Rest in pieces. Yep. Rest in heckin' pieces. Ah, jeez. Oh, this thing's nasty looking. Oh, look at its bugged out eyes. Oh, goodness. It is very concerningly ugly. Especially that part near its tail that is uh, transparent. So yeah, as you can see, Cloud cannot hit it. Not with his weapon, anyway. <laughs> yeah, uh, I love that Priscilla's getting a backstory now. Calm was the name of my squad in Nam. <laughs> Told me there'd be people like you out here. Ooh. Yeah, one of the things that I really appreciate about the uh, spell animations is they actually change size based on the size of the target. They scale. So you'll notice that Ice and Fire 2 are much bigger when you're using them on uh, the um, uh, bottom swell here. Because it is bigger. Uh-oh. Yeah, you know this mechanic, right? Final Fantasy fourteen. Hit the bubble! There you go. Oh no, that did nothing. Yeah, um... You can only pop the bubbles with magic. Ah. So this is basically like... It's exactly the same as Reno's Pyramid. I get you. Except the physical attacks don't work. There we go. It's like the uh, the queer bubbles in Brave Flocks. We stand a queer bubble. <laughs> Especially during Pride Month. See, look, that Fire 2 just looks so impressive so when you nice. use it on a big target. The bubble will actually deal damage over time if you don't pop it, um, but you can use attacks um, that are attached to an all materia to hit both the boss and the bubble. So, blade beam should reach it. Yep, because remember, limit breaks ignore range. So, yeah, Shazawi. Ooh, nice hit. Absolutely. No, stop! I haven't healed yet. When you kill him, he has a death throw attack where he... Yep. Oh. There you go. He well, hit you one go. last time. 
You're doing really well, actually. So far, none of the bosses have really been much threat to you. I'm just that good. Absolutely. And you got a power wrist. Nice. You don't think she's dead, do you? Check her pockets for credit cards. <laughs> this Priscilla! <laughs> oh my god. I love, okay, so this old man comes running down with a little girl's voice, and the little girl has the old man's voice. <laughs> she's not breathing! I'm fine. Okay, now you get to play another minigame. Oh, do I? Do I? I have to do CPR? You have to do CPR. <laughs> oh, God. Why are there so many mini games in this game? It's okay, because you um, are going to get an explanation. Why me? <laughs> Cloud's like, I really don't want to put my mouth on a girl's mouth. <laughs> He's like, no, I know how to do CPR, old man. Like, that's not the reason. I'm just super uncomfortable for... There are layers here, old guy. Okay. So you see there, that's Cloud's lungs, right? Uh-huh. So you're going to have to hit square to start, and then square again to stop it. And there, stop. Because if you don't stop it in like in time, mm -hmm. you will automatically exhale. So just keep doing that. You want to let it get as high as you can, but if it goes all the way to the top, then um, he'll automatically breathe out. So let it get right up to kind of the bottom of the red area there. Trying to let it get maybe I gotcha. one tick higher than you did before. One more. Okay, I got this. There you go. You can do it. I believe you. Believe in you, even. Man, that wasn't enough? Boy, they really want me to get up there. Okay. It's because he's not doing chest compressions. So he's only doing half of CPR. To do CPR correctly, you actually gotta, like, crack a rib. There you Whew, go. There we go. <laughs> and the lung capacity on cloud. Priscilla, are you alright? <laughs> I've got her. <laughs> you don't have to carry me, Grandpa. All right, so run back over towards the beginning of... Yeah, there you go. Beginning of the stairs. Priscilla needs to rest for a while. But I want to see her. I want to know if she's alive. If you go back down to that first woman you talked to, I think, or the first house. Oh, down here? Yeah. They'll say something to you about it. All right. You've done so much for Priscilla. You oh. can sleep here. I just happen to have three beds in case an adventuring party wanders through. <laughs> free inn, yay. Mm -hmm. Another free inn. Also, why do you have three beds, old woman? I just told you, in case an adventuring party wanders through. Make yourselves at home. I don't actually live here. I just house it. <laughs> I don't know who actually owns the place. <laughs> you want to rest? I was like, no, I want to arm wrestle. Mm -hmm. I don't want to arm wrestle either one of those ladies. I don't either. I am 1,000% confident uh, that Tifa and Aerith, or sorry, Texas and Jolene, could both, like, beat Clow. Now, I do want to see both of them arm wrestle, though. Ye that would be a match to see. Yeah. You again, speaking in my head. 
you again? Is this clout? Who are you? You'll find out soon, but more importantly, the voice says, five years ago. Yeah. <laughs> who are you? That's <laughs> not important right now. Just very distantly. <laughs> Shimona. Wow, this is clown. <laughs> <laughs> Abelhain? Texas was your guide, right? Should have been your conscious conscience. <laughs> Let your Texas be your guide. <laughs> Where was Texas other than that? In my heart. There you go. Yes, she's in all our hearts. Yeah. I was like, sure. Absolutely. We definitely saw each other. Why couldn't you see each other alone? We had to be chaperoned. Yeah. We're both teenagers. I'd been in the army. Yeah. I can't remember clearly. Also, like, if I was alone with her, my mother would have tried to, like, marry us on the spot. <laughs> oh my god, that woman was insufferable. <laughs> She kept trying to push me into a relationship with an older girl. <laughs> Get up. Wake up. Wake up, Clow. Slap. <laughs> slap, slap. Listen to that triumphant music. We saw each other, right? Oh, the other time. She's like, what other time? I don't know, that was five years ago. I can barely remember what I had for breakfast this morning. <laughs> so much weird stuff is going on. You are unreliable, Texas. At least when it comes to memory. Yeah, I was about to say, you can count on Texas more than you could count on anybody in this party. Ugh, Grandma! There we go. Hey guys, what's going on? Everything's so noisy, isn't it weird? Yeah, it's almost like we're in a city. Yeah, it's like the background music is diegetic all of a sudden. Heard that girl regain consciousness, says Jolene, in case you don't know what you're supposed to do next. Hey. Hey, you. you? <laughs> Should've named her you. What's this loud music? Come here, hell right. I feel like that's gonna be Yoko's voice. It's like, oh my god, this music is so loud. It's giving me a headache. I just cannot deal with all of the trumpets. The brass section is very upsetting, you guys. <laughs> Priscilla's just, just knock like, her out. <laughs> Priscilla's just like, hey, uh, thanks for your help back there. Anytime, you strange little girl. I'm not great at this, but uh, I owe you one. <laughs> I thought you were, uh, you know, Shinra losers. That's all right. We get that a lot. Here, uh, y you can have this. Oh, an amulet. Okay. I'm calling it an amulet. You'll you'll see if you just look at it with the eyes that you <gasps> have in your head. It's not actually jewelry. She gave a Shiva? She just has a Shiva summon materia? Uh, I, listen, don't spread it around. Everybody will want one. Yeah, right they will. <laughs> <laughs> listen, uh... So, they're putting on a parade. If you guys could go up there and maybe start blowing stuff up, that would just be great, because we hate that guy. <laughs> Barrett's into it. He's like, oh, I've got to pay my respects. <laughs> so uh, the olds told me that uh, this place used to be, like, less awful when they were younger. But then they also talked to the wallpaper, so. <laughs> Who is this character you've created? I love her. You know, time passes. Things change. Shit gets wild. <laughs> Honestly, I just... Even the word Shinra, it's... It's like eating dog food in my mouth. It's... I can feel the bile rising. Like, my liver's trying to climb out of me and go to war. 
I think Rufus came here to catch a boat, says Jolene. A port city? Nah. <laughs> Sephiroth already crossed the ocean. Sephiroth does not need no boat, though. How did he cross the ocean, then? Did he, he just swim? He walked on water because he has God's gift to gamers. I if you, see. If you believe the hype. Hmm. <laughs> Didn't you finish Rufus off? I told you he got away. Cloud's just like, that is a very forward question. <laughs> also, rude that you would ever imply that I would leave someone hanging. God. <laughs> Maybe we could climb the tower. How sensible. <laughs> now listen, uh, the entire tower is covered in electricity. It's very anime. I would not recommend <laughs> but listen, uh, we can talk to this dolphin, I know. I... I'm sorry, what? Listen, don't don't ask too many questions. It's, uh... Nope, you know what? I I'm, didn't write this part. Yeah, I'm not... Mm, <laughs> never mind. If we have to use a dolphin to get across the sea, whatever. I Te won't question it. Tex is just like, this seems awfully convenient. I guess Clown will have to do it. Because it's a high-voltage tower. She's just like, well, he's the one with the Mako treatment. And he's... He's the one with the superhuman durability. If someone is going to have to grab onto a cable, you know, that's got uh, 500,000 volts passing through it, only Clow can do that. I think it's more like to get his hair to do that thing, <laughs> he has to stick a fork in a light socket every morning. So he's just used he's to being got, electrified. He's got practice. Thank you. Thank you both. I love, I'm, I'm so glad that both Texas and Jolene want to see Cloud die so much. They need him out of the way so they can be together. <laughs> because he just won't, like, come all the way out to no, everybody. <laughs> Guys! They don't know he's not really an obstacle. They all just left him. They just straight up go. They just expect me to climb up here. They just bail. <sighs> you know what? Fine. No, you gotta go back down to the beach, remember? I was going to try to climb the tower. No, you have to follow Priscilla, unfortunately. That's okay. I didn't want to climb up the high-voltage tower anyway. I'm sure it's fine. Hang on a second. I've got to queue up this next mini game for you. Oh, no, not again. <laughs> okay, fine. So many mini games in this game. Listen... This is the era where they were just starting to implement quick time events as a regular thing, so this might be a little dicey. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. Whenever I blow this whistle, he just flips shit. <laughs> Did I Here. just get a porpoise whistle? You try it. What am I supposed to do with it? Just pucker up your lips and blow. <laughs> Jump to the top of the pole. That's really high. No one read into that. <laughs> <laughs> See that rod sticking out? Mm. You, you can climb all the way to the top if you jump just right. Barrett's like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not swinging at that one. <laughs> Give me your cell phone, though. All right, you ready to do this? Sure. Good luck, you dumb jock. Almost. Okay. I think I get it. You gotta be kind of in the right spot. It's actually less about timing and more about positioning, which is why they give you this funny camera angle. Oh, close. Because you have to hit that crossbeam kind of like exactly at the height of the jump. Okay. It, it can be frustrating because, see, like, you're really close every time. The angle is weird. Yeah, you've got to be, like... Kind of, like, right here? Yeah, they show you when he's when you first spawn into the scene. That's close to where you need to be. There's, there's a couple places you can do it from. The sweet spot, I think, is sort of kind of down towards the bottom of the screen. Like Just, right around here? Yeah, like right of center. Ish, yeah, you know, like kind of around there. Okay, we'll try it. 
That didn't work. That did not work. Oh, do I need to be facing this way? Does that yeah, matter? I, yes, it does matter. You have to be facing the correct direction. Oh. I think. <laughs> no, I think he just jumps that right. <laughs> hmm. There you go. Yeah, just you just kind of have to do it until you get it. There is. Oh. That was close. But like, there's not a. There's not really a cheat for this part. There's not a an easy strategy. You just. I'm sure some speedrunner could put their finger on the monitor and tell you exactly the spot to be. But I am, as I have professed before, merely a mortal and do not have the superhuman powers possessed by speedrunners. So all I can tell you is don't give up. Aha! There you go. Hey. Made it. Awesome. And then I immediately fall down. I don't think you can, thankfully. Once you're up there, I don't think you can fall. Ooh. Have a cutscene. Cut Look, it's an airship. Ooh, it's a big one. Love it. They go back in control. Immediately, it's eerily silent. Is that a boss fight coming up? Am I have to duel something? No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Ooh, item box. Hey, you haven't seen a treasure chest in a while. Uh, it's so far away. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I... Hmm. Not actually a treasure chest. Okay, I needed to come down here anyway, I guess. Yeah, this is where you're going, so no harm done. Oh, I can hear the music getting louder. Oop. Yay, the new president. Wee. Why are you still dressed like that? Come here. Oh. There we go. Yes, sir. Yep. Time to get into your Shinra uniform. And he is absolutely going to stand there and watch. Hmm. I was like, that's fine. Uh, yeah, whatever. Brings back memories, does it? Oh, well, I guess it would, wouldn't it? Museum's open all day. <laughs> Stare as much as you want. Just don't touch the art. Hey, I got a gun now. Yeah. Wow, you look good in it. Klaus like, yeah, I'm I'm <laughs> kind of hot shit. <laughs> Remember the greeting procedure, right? How can you see his face? He's wearing like a dust cloth and a a resident evil visor. Just do like I do. We'll help too. We <laughs> heard from all the way down the hall. They're so helpful. This run in. Well, scene two, okay. They are into this. It's the welcoming march. Here they go. Quietly. They're going to sing very quietly. Shh. Uh, <laughs> just like that. Just like that. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me do this by myself. There you go. So they're demonstrating yet another minigame. Once you're in step, shoulder your gun. Yeah, this is just one of those things that's... It's it's a little awkward. You'll either get it or you won't. Okay. And don't worry if you don't. So, but they've told you the the goal here. You're going to be marching in step, so you want to try and keep pace with um, the other soldiers, right? 
um, and then you'll hit the switch button, square, uh, to shoulder your gun whenever they do. Okay. All right, let's get this started. So here you go. There's Rufus. I have a gun. Can I just shoot him? Gosh, wouldn't that... If that's just how it went. Okay. There's definitely a rhythm to it. Is that a gun? That is... The gun. The gun? This is the biggest gun. Why is this whole town a gun? Um... Unfortunately, the North American translation doesn't go into it as much as it should, uh, but there was a war, which I think has been mentioned a couple times already, right. between Midgar and Wutai. Okay, yeah. So that gun is basically aimed across the sea at Wutai. Or at anyone who's you know might be coming from the west to the east. Take a shortcut. That never goes bad. Never goes poorly. Alright. Did I just see something? He has a random cat. Or oh, dog. okay. Okay, go for it. There you go. Okay. Ready. They're gonna show you the rhythm, right? Yeah. Here you go. So you're going to do the same thing. Pay no attention to that number in the corner of the screen. It'll only screw you up. Okay. All right, go for it. Jump in when I give you the sign. Sneak in from the back. And don't mess up the row. Okay. Don't try to go in from the front. All right. Go for it. Run. I'll have to wait for the next one. Yeah, I already screwed you up. <laughs> Charge. Okay, there you go. Now, run in. Ha! Oh. Dang it. <laughs> this Ruining is... Rufus's parade. Oh, no. Gotta run down towards the bottom of the screen and... I don't know what it wants from me. I'm trying. Go ahead and start running now. Good enough. Now hit square whenever they move their guns. <laughs> WTF? Are the points up? It's terrible. <laughs> Am I fired? <laughs> Send that soldier a bomb or something. Well. Oh, hey, I got a grenade. Awesome. So you get different gifts uh, based on how well you do. Um, the grenade is obviously it's the, the bad one. It's the worst. Um, you could get some other. I think they give you like a package of healing items. If you do really well, they send you a bunch of money. Oh, a significant amount. But like, there's Heidegger again. We haven't seen him for a while. What happened to the airship? Says Rufus. It's like, we're still working on it. Three more days. Rufus is like, I'm not waiting that long. Even the Gelnica? Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rufus is just, I love how he just stopped that stupid horse laugh. <laughs> he just slaps him. I am not my father. I will push you off this bridge. Heidegger's like, well, oh, okay. Okay, Ben, I guess. That seems really mean, but all right. <laughs> Is the ship ready? Oh. 
We'll get it ready quickly. It'll be three days and 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, that trademark stupid horse laugh. All of the different Shinra executives have a different laugh, and like the Gyahaha is very specifically Heidegger's, and the Scarlet's, I think, is Kyahaha. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Although he gets mad and just like punches the crap out of Cloud, and Cloud, d nothing even happens. Everybody comes over, oh my god, are you okay? Heidegger just punched you a bunch. What a disaster. He was so mad. Mmm, there we go. So he is here. Man in a black cape? Question mark? Idle curiosity? Just asking because you brought it up? <laughs> Killed a few of our soldiers, you know, seven or eight legions. <laughs> Some people are saying it was Sephiroth. Or his ghost. Because <laughs> they think he's dead. A g g g ghost <laughs> All of you get out of here. <laughs> you messing with the army? What if I am? You no don't break, get a break for you. <laughs> Aw, not my break. <laughs> yep. You're not done yet. Alright. You gotta see Rufus off. I keep you drilling until it's time. Uh, okay. Final right. pose, huh? Formation. Remember, Remember it. it. Ready? Military send off begin! Switch. Yeah, this is a lot to remember. Okay, let's just hit the buttons when they say. I got it about as good as I'm gonna get it, I guess. Yep. You just gotta be really quick on those buttons. As soon as that speech bubble pops up, you have to smash that button. And those of you watching, please do smash that subscribe button. Or if you're watching on YouTube after I upload this on my YouTube channel, uh, smash that like button <laughs> and hit the bell to turn on notifications because we do upload three times a week. We haven't decided on a special pose yet. I'm gonna let you decide. Oh, it's gonna be that one, isn't it? Show me your best move, Cloud's like, okay. My best move is... <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh my god, that's so cool. Practice it. Spin those guns. Well, if nothing else, you made these soldiers, like, super happy. Well, that's good anyway. Jojo pose. Yeah, well, they have the, uh... They're gonna have to practice that one a lot. I don't know if they have the polygon count for a Jojo pose. <laughs> I just oh, don't right. know if they can physically do it. Is there anything else for me? Like, can I just go... You can save it. In case you want to, like, try this again or something. But, no. You're not free until after you do the last minigame here. Alright. Gotta see Rufus off, then. Well, time to fail this minigame. Here we go. Oh, look who it is. Hey. Where are you going? Come back here. <laughs> hmm. There's the Turks theme we're too smashed to do anything <laughs> we're just down here drinking and gambling that's awesome <laughs> 
Cloud's like, I can't take my mask off right now. Yeah, so, bye. <laughs> if I did, you would punch me a bunch, so. He would certainly try. Who are you? Why are you trying to get my attention? Forget about your job, step right up. He's a shop. Is he? Yes. I have money to throw around. I was just starting to get worried. Our sales were pretty bad today. Must be the ratings for the parade. Ooh. Materia shop. You do have some new materia. There are a couple here you're definitely going to want to buy. Revive sounds good. Yep, because you don't have one of those. You absolutely want a revive materia, minimum. Um, you have a heal and restore. What you don't have is a seal materia. Is seal. that like... Um... Jolene's Seal Evil limit. Yep, yep, that is the materia that gives you like uh, silence and similar spells. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just one of the <clears throat> excuse me, one of each? Uh, for now, probably because you also have got Phoenix Downs hmm. and you don't want to pile like a billion spell materia on everybody or spend all of your money on just this. Right. So. Guessing there's nothing else in here. No, not for right now. Alrighty. All right, I've missed around enough. Yeah, and there are other shops, um, you know, that you can investigate a little bit later. Well, all right, guess I'm going this Let's way. Let's do it. Let's do it. Just left me. Hmm. Oh, this is the infamous hallway. Uh, you okay, dude? Gosh, I've done so much grinding. Ooh, a submarine dock. In this hallway. Yep, in the underwater Mako reactor for Junon. I'm sure that won't be important later. No, that's why they put it in blue te text. To show you that it's not important. <laughs> Here we go. Alright. Thank you, helpful right soldier. There they go running. There you all are. Is that? <laughs> Pay How? no attention to the man behind the curtain. How? It's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> and hut. Alright, now remember, hit those buttons as fast as you can when they call them out. doing too badly. Ah! It's alright. <laughs> well. Well. Just do the best you can. You cursed me. Don't turn. Oh. <laughs> okay, well. Oh, I got hey, 90. got a 90. That's not too bad. <laughs> that could have gone a lot worse. Very entertaining. Are you going <laughs> to come punch us some more? No, it's fine. Token of the President's Kindness. Ooh, an HP plus materia. Mm -hmm. That sounds nice. Yep, depending on how high the gauge gets, he gives you different stuff. Was that the good one? Like the best one? Um, Technically, no, but Aww. I would almost rather have that than what he would give you um, if you got 100. If you get a 0 to 50, he gives you an accessory that prevents the darkness status. Um, 
and then of course in the middle is the HP plus materia. If you get a hundred or higher, he gives you a new weapon for Cloud. Oh, okay. Which is better than the hard edge, um, and that is that is important. It's a nice jump because. Um, the hard edge is the weapon that you can buy at the weapon shop here in Junon. Mm. So, on the upside, you're already caught up because you put in the work to steal a hard edge from the um, uh, the third class soldiers earlier in the Shinra headquarters. So that means that you don't have to buy one now. But it also means that like you're not going to get a better weapon for some time. Mm. Ooh, Hojo disappeared, leaving a letter of resignation. Hmm. Yeah, so Heidegger has to look for him. Heidegger's got his work cut out for him right now. I thought you were dismissed. Nope. Getting out of here. Bye. Okay, don't. Don't, don't. go onto the boat yet if you want to explore the town. Hmm. Guess I better go explore the town then. Ah, uh, they're going to make me, aren't they? Well, you can come back here later. A dolphin gave me a ride. Good lord, did everybody ride on that dolphin? <laughs> I didn't climb? Oh, well, okay. It's like, it's fine, don't worry about it. Uh, it's a but thou must moment. Yeah, gave me no choice. Yeah, well, basically... They kind of rush you through Junon here. Um, there are shops that you can visit and stuff, and you can see a lot more of the town. You have to break with the parade mm -hmm. and kind of do what you were doing when you went into the um, the item shop and the materia shop. Okay. So. Well, that's all right. We'll come back. Yeah. On the one hand, that means that you missed weapon upgrades for a bunch of people. Um, mm, that's going to hurt. But, I mean, you will have other opportunities. You could have upgraded pretty much everybody's weapon except Cloud, I think. Hmm. Ooh, I see a Materia. Indeed. There you go. Give her a Tranquilizer. Where are the others? Oh my god. <laughs> I am so seasick. <laughs> I need you to move so I can get that materia. Uh. Yeah, for real. It's me, oh. Jolene. Hey, Jolene. Did you see the airship? It was so cool. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's too easy. Oh. I think I could get on it? <laughs> it's fine, don't worry about it. I don't know. <laughs> it was awfully big. <laughs> we'll see what happens. If we do good, we could get promoted. Awesome. I'm not going to be able to get that material until she moves, am I? Uh, right. I'm going to have to come back. There is definitely that. I'm going to have to come back later, aren't I? It hurts my soul to leave items and treasure just laying around. You, you will have an opportunity, though. Okay. Seaman's gotta have oomph. I'm tired. Something's missing. Something's missing. Hey, hey, what do you mean missing? There you go. Oh, well, found a secret shop. <laughs> I don't want any of this, though. <laughs> this is just a lot of running around 
for the most part. You can talk to all these folks and there's not a lot to do on the ship until you kind of push the story forward. I hate them all. Yeah, there's a sentiment we can all agree with. Mm. Right, Clow? <laughs> <laughs> I'll continue my watch. <laughs> Good job, Texas. <laughs> Is there a way for me to get up there? Yeah, you can head to the front of the boat. There you go. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Costa, Costa del Sol. Sol. Hey. Go down to the beach and get a tan. <laughs> Save point. Yeah, you will want to save. Because stuff. Because stuff. Because stuff. <laughs> That's ominous. Well, I don't want to spoil you. What are you doing? It's me, Clifford. Oh. Oh, no. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> they stuffed him into a Shinra uniform. Oh, Clifford, I'm so <laughs> sorry. He's hopping around on his hind legs. <laughs> Tail. <laughs> All right, you'll have to head back down and uh, talk to the disguised Jolene again. Yep. Get that out of the way right now. And that way, Costa del Sol guy will move, and you'll be able to actually go and find Barith. I hate it when games make you have to do that. Well, it would be better if they actually told you, but there's no indication that like you really were supposed to talk to her twice. Because, of right. course, the first time you have a conversation with her, and it seems like she says everything that needs to be said. It's actually almost kind of weird that you do have to talk to her a second time, I think. But that's alright. At least it's just a short walk to find him. And then you have to talk to him twice. But at least that's a little clearer. That's true. Like at this point, you know what's going on and you know what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah, if only you could, but up oh, there's the alarm. Stowaway sighted on board. They found Clifford. <laughs> well, he was the least disguised, despite what he thought. Right. Let's see what's up. That is so weird to see that sprite down on all fours. <laughs> hmm. Yep, there's your whole party, so. That's where he was hiding, on the boat. Jinkies. <laughs> Barrett's just like, well, do you have a better idea? Yes, finding out is the most logical thing to do. Which of you is going to do that? Yoko's out. That's fair. She Yoko's just like, I here. just got here, and you all are fighting Sephiroth? Uh-uh. It's like, oh, you did not properly inform me before <laughs> I signed on. Well, I think we know that we're safe to take the ladies with us, so... That'll keep you from having to play Materia Tetris. Hmm? You grabbed an empty space. <laughs> oh, I did, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Alright, you want to pop on that new Revive Materia? Mm, and the Shiva Materia. So I do have to play Tetris just a little bit. But not too badly, though. You're going to need your Steel Materia. You could get rid of fire because Jolene has one, or cover. I haven't been using either of those with Cloud. He's not been casting a lot of spells. You've been spamming Matra magic. So That's true. You do want those to like level up, but this is a case where you know you're equipping for like a fight coming up or something. So yeah. it's probably better to have material on that you're going to use. HP plus is great for someone like uh, 
Jolene to kind of help balance out that they have lower health. Right. But on the other hand, you also technically get more out of it if you put it on someone like Cloud, who's beefy anyway. He's also got cover on, too, so I mean... Right, that vitality is going to help. Let's see. I think long range is, is good to get off of here for a minute. Yeah, you won't need that for right now. We'll, we'll trade that out for Shiva. Okay. Store all Chocomog fire. I think I want to keep that on there. Cloud is the most likely to survive because he has the highest defense and hit points. Maybe you can give him the revive materia instead of fire or poison. Let's trade out poison for that because that does make a lot of sense. Alright, time to head below decks then and see what's up. Okay. Now you said I needed to have the steel materia on. Yes, because there are random encounters down here. Go grab that support materia, which I believe is an all materia. Yep, you are correct. Awesome. If you run around down in the hold here, um, you are going to get some uh, random battles. Not human, you say. Lord. So these are Shinra Marines, and of course they're attacking you because you are no longer wearing your disguises, and they are on high alert. So you'll probably want to take two of them out, just to make this fight a little bit easier. And then you're going to want to steal a piece of armor from them. They have something that's called, I think, a Shinra Beta. Which is going to be a slight upgrade, um, I think, from the Carbon Bangle. Definitely going to be an upgrade from the Mithril Armlets that most of your characters are wearing. See, look at them. You can tell from the way that their animations are locked that they're they're no longer moving in place. Right. So they are paralyzed and silenced as well. I wish that made it easier to steal things from them. I do too, but at least on the other hand, darkness does not actually affect your steal ability, so... That's good. Yeah, it doesn't make you less accurate. Eh. It's hilarious, though, that that's how you expedite the process. I got this. Wax it with steel. Oh, there we go. Hey, there's one. Alright, finish him off. So, of course, you can only steal from somebody one time. Oh, what? Oh, he has darkness. darkness. Oh, yep. And then I just did that with Jolene. Okay. That's alright. He doesn't have that many hit points, so might as well hit him. There you go. Jolene just got so used to hitting people that she just <laughs> did it on reflex. Okay, so check your equipment now. And I don't know if all three of them have carbon bangles? No, because she only has a mithril armlet. Okay. So, so there she you go. gets the beta. So the Shinra beta, as you can see, the defense is actually crap. Like, defense percent and magic defense is crap. Yeah. Um, but, but physical has... defense is pretty good. And it's got... Four materia slots. Yep, which is an upgrade from so, the Mithril Armlet. So, yeah. She gets I'll check that. the Carbon Bangle. I think it... Does it have four slots? No, carbon it does Carbon Bangle have has three. three. So it is a straight upgrade. Yeah. It, where materia is yeah. concerned. Now, you don't necessarily have to grind for three of them. You know, that's going to give her two more slots because she had the crappiest armor. Right. So now you can stick on some of those things like give her the HP plus, maybe. Yes, that sounds good. There you go. And then you can give her something like seal or poison if you want. Or you can mix match around a little bit. Or you could even take something like Shiva off of Texas and give it to her. I don't want to do that because I don't want one person to have all the summon materials. Yeah, that's fair. And spreading them out's a good idea. But let's give her let's give her poison. There you go. All right, so you're probably safe with just the one because of the defense difference. Mm -hmm. You are earning a materia slot, which is important, but overall you're losing a little bit of defense, especially right. magic defense. Um, that doesn't matter for Jolene because she has really high magic defense innately. Right. For Clow and um, Texas, you're probably safe to just keep the carbon bangles if you want to go ahead and push on. Okay, we'll do that then. 
Okay, first things first, carefully yeah. climb that ladder over there. You don't want to go too far forward because you want to make sure that you get this stuff if it's available. Or while I don't know it's what available. these little things are. Scrutinize. Hmm. Get, get it? I, Scrutinize. Hmm. Oh, did they just dodge that? Well, they're floating. Oh, I did attack with Earth, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Well, dodge this. <laughs> okay, up the ladder. Hmm. There you go, <laughs> all the way around. <laughs> oh, no, okay. I'm just gonna take this, if that's okay with you. I don't think he's gonna protest. These little guys are, though. That's all right, that's just 32 more AP for all of your materia. Whoop, <laughs> dang it. Oh. That's a lot of... Mm, that it hurt. is, but... You better do something. Okay, we'll try it. Welcome the queen to the battlefield. There it is, diamond dust. Yes. Here she comes. Here she comes, ladies and gentlemen. Just the flick. God, that's beautiful. So stylish. Boom. Stunning. <laughs> Graceful. Beautiful. Elegant. Majestic. Glorious. <laughs> hey, and a level up. Hey, nice. Wind slash. Mm -hmm. What is a wind slash? Is that a weapon? I think that's a weapon for Yuffie? think you can check in your items to see weapons that you can't actually equip when... oh yep okay yeah yeah that's a that's a weapon upgrade for yoko <laughs> all right then all right you may want to give tifa or texas an ether oh yeah i guess that would be a good idea she's fairly low there okay we go. let's do this you gotta go down there and talk to that officer in red. And then I'm sure he will either die or explode or something. Sephiroth will come onto the scene. Terrible things will happen. Of this you can be sure. You know what? I'm not going to do that. Well. Suffer, I guess. Dang it! <laughs> Y'all suck. And thankfully, magic's not affected by darkness. Thank goodness. Mm-hmm. Could you imagine if things like Fire and Bolt had a missed chance? I don't want to imagine that kind of world. That sounds horrible. <laughs> I don't want to live in that world. All right. Here you go, the big moment. Is it Sephiroth? No, it's me, Dave. It's rude. Thud. Oh no, it's a dead guy. Nope, it's not Sephiroth. Nah, he <laughs> Sephiroth doesn't vanish into nothing like that. After a long sleep, the time has come. Ooh, ominous. Look, Clow. Behold. Ah! Just oh. up out of the ground like that, huh? It is Sephiroth. You're alive, or maybe a ghost, because you did just kind of materialize through the ground. Yellow, he just passed directly through a solid surface, and his immediate reaction is to say, You're alive! Like, hmm. that's, that's the opposite. Your knee jerk should be the opposite. <laughs> You're a ghost! Holy crap, it's a g -g -g ghost! <laughs> Who are you? says Sephiroth. It's, it's me, Clow. You know, Clow. Remember Clow? Hmm. Clow, clow, Not clow. ringing any bells, says Sephiroth. Oh my god, what is all this, Sephiroth? <laughs> yeah, it's time for stuff. <laughs> Evil stuff. Whoa. Bye. Um, Hear that music? Enjoy mm, it. That's really nice, I like that. Boom. 
So yeah, watch your label down there when you attack, when you choose your target. Genova Birth. Huh? Yes, your first Genova boss. Oh my. Well. Ow. Mm hmm. It's gonna shoot lasers at me, huh? It is going to shoot lasers at you. It's gonna shoot lasers continuously. Well, I'm going to beat the crap out of it. That is what you need to do. Beat all the crap out of it you can find. Fear the power of cute animals! And I was like, I fear nothing. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, it hurts so bad. Hmm, that did significantly less damage than I was hoping. Let's try Diamond Dust. Mm. To be fair, it is a boss. Ah, love it. Shiva is the best summon. Shiva, be a deer and destroy this thing for me, Fight please. me. You can't change my mind. Boom. Uh. Tail laser? I don't like that. Yeah, especially since that wasn't her tail. Oh, she's gonna do it again. Ow, 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 yep. ow, ow. This is your first really serious boss, I feel like. That's alright, you got it. I know you got it. Yeah, hit her with that fire too. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Ooh, Cloud's gun. Uh, Not again. So ugly. Kick her in the face. Go, Texas. Fire works really well here, so it's a good thing you've got fire too on Jolene, actually. I wish that we had picked up Flamethrower for Cloud with the enemy skill materia. There is an enemy that can teach you that in um, uh, back in the Mithril Mines, and I think that we missed it. That's all right. You don't need it. You got this. See, look at that. Oh, it's casting stop. Can it be sealed? Uh, I don't remember, actually. We'll find out. You try. Because Seal Evil inflicts multiple effects, so one of them may t stick. Doesn't look like it. Didn't paralyze it, didn't silence it. Mm. Yeah, have her keep attacking since she's got the best magic. See if you've got something that'll fix that uh, stop status on Texas. Hmm don't remember the name of the item that fixes stop. Oh. Uh, antidotes. No, that's not it. I do not. Okay, well. Uh, she's just down a character then. That sucks. At least you don't have to steal from it. Hey! Hey! Perfect. Well, look well. at that. That was almost anticlimactic. <laughs> <laughs> Searching through the inventory kind of brought that moment down a little bit. It's fine, it's fine. It's cool when you end on a critical Ooh. hit, though. Hey, bolt two. And you get a white cape. Ooh, nice. The white cape is an accessory, and it protects you from, I think, mini and frog? Oh, nice. Seen this somewhere before. In my manga. It's the arm of Genova. What? Ugh. Ugh. Quick, step on it. So it was Sephiroth. That jerk. <laughs> Time for something. Time yeah, for his, what? His pizza rolls were ready. Oh my god, I want pizza rolls now. Time is now. As a 90s kid, I'm always in a low-level state of <laughs> wanting pizza rolls. Or bagel bites. That's fair. Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> God, I wish. Can you explain it to us? I will try. Attempt, yeah. Do not interrupt me while I'm explaining. Don't like people talking over top of me. Yep. Sephiroth went searching for the promised land so he could rule the planet five years ago. He came back and killed President Shinra. Yep. You are all there for that. Just now, we all saw Sephiroth. Hmm. 
Carrying Genova with him. Yeah, that tracks. He told me he wants to go to the Promised Land with his mother, Genova. Okay. Guess that's about it, actually. We already knew all that. Jolene's just like, thanks, that was super helpful. <laughs> Prepare for docking. I love, like, above deck, everything has just gone on completely normally. Ship, don't stop. Where did Sephiroth fly off to is my question. I guess he just went through the ship. Don't, don't worry about it. It's fine. I'm not leaving without the material. Yeah, don't you all can't make that me. because <gasps> Ifrit. Yep. Now you have a summon for each character. Yes. Good. Klaus just like he's alive. I still think that's debatable. I have very mixed and conflicting emotions. <laughs> I think I may have had a crush on him. I don't know. It's ambiguous. <laughs> Can't wait for the promised land to be the friends we made along the way. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Well, for now, it's time to visit Costa del Sol. I'm guessing this isn't going to be like the MMO. Not quite, um, but I mean, a little bit. This is where it comes from. Check it out. Oh, yep. Just saw a guy in a Speedo. This is absolutely Costa del Sol. It's not identical, but it is like... You recognize the name, you know what to expect here. Yoko immediately runs over to check him out. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Barrett's it's like, well, at least I can get changed into real people clothes. <laughs> Act like normies, says Barrett. Oh, too bad. I thought it was cute. <laughs> I mean, she ain't wrong. It was cute on him. <laughs> See? See? <laughs> she literally <laughs> says it was cute. <laughs> Barrett's like, I will push you into the harbor. That would also be cute, but in a different way. Haha, <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Wanna use the sailor suit for pajamas, Lord. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> you look like a bear wearing a marshmallow. <laughs> it means you look like a bear wearing a marshmallow. I can't be any clearer than that. <laughs> <laughs> Clifford thought that was funny. Good. Nah, he's panting. So. Oh. Hmm. Mine too, says you think. Well, obviously, since you just had a boss fight, the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, probably find an inn and a save point. Oh, absolutely. Oh my god, my mane got messed up. Got to do Aww. my hair. <laughs> He's belly crawling. Aw. <laughs> He's not happy. Don't bother looking for me. Remember, if it's too hot for you to go outside barefoot, it's too hot for your pets to go outside barefoot. Give them little booties. It is adorable. And protects them. The sailor's over there checking out Speedo Guy now. I want to check out Speedo Guy. Bunch of hardworking deckhands like you wouldn't understand. Mmm. It's like being in an advertisement. It's the ultimate high. Sure. <laughs> I hear the Shinra brass are showing up soon. That's why I'm wearing my best Speedo. <laughs> Alright, well... Mm. Cool. Don't worry, you don't have to go far to be able to save it. Is that Rufus? Rufus was on the boat, remember? Yeah. He could have left on his helicopter. That would be so extra to get, like, <laughs> the boat Halfway is pulled there. into the dock, and he gets on a helicopter and flies just from the boat over to the helipad on the dock. That sounds like something Rufus would do. Rufus would absolutely do that. I'm positive. Ah, oh, but see, there they are. Look at people getting blown off the helipad. <laughs> Hmm. 
could work, I guess. Hurry it up. Heidegger walks like a clown. All of these long sleeves and long coats are not appropriate for this climate. I heard Sephiroth was on board. Sure was. You were you were there, sir. We were in the same room. <laughs> Seems like Avalanche was there too. Sir, this is all So you you have eyes. You you saw it. A perfect recounting of events that just happened, sir. <laughs> that you were present for, sir. You messed up big this time, Heidegger. I'm ashamed of myself. <laughs> Is that all you can do? Uh. Mm -hmm. Kinda. It was half my job when your dad was was boss. You took this long boat ride so you could take a helicopter ride somewhere else. Rufus well, just hates walking, doesn't he? I mean, I guess if I had his money. Man, he's so cold. D Gosh. That guy's <laughs> not even part of all this. Leave him alone. Well, it tells you what kind of people you're dealing with, you know. Heidegger is not a nice guy. Yeah, see, the helicopter's not dropping anyone off. It's picking Rufus up. Mm. All right, here Ooh. you are in Costa del Sol. Swanky. And there's the inn right down there. You can speak to that nice lady at the desk. Hello, nice lady at the desk. Please heal me. Aren't you bored? Yeah, we fight a lot. <laughs> but isn't that good, though? Tourist information guide. There you go. Where's the inn? Resort located on the outskirts of the city. Okay. Well, let's That's go there. It. That's it? <laughs> I think if... Um, is it through the arch? I, I think that it might be that first door. Whoop. But that's okay because you can also just save on the world map. True. That is true. In fact, I might want to go ahead and do that. It's probably not a bad idea. Hello, world map. Just because you want to save as soon as possible. So, Because it is, unfortunately, time to put another stream to bed. Yep. It's that time again. Yep. So, thank you for joining us for some more Final Fantasy VII. I hope that you will come back next Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we'll explore Costa del Sol together and see what it's all about. Absolutely. Remember, that is New York and Miami time here in the U.S. And uh, don't forget, too, to follow on social media. Of course, Twitter, Facebook, Pillow Fort, over on YouTube when I upload this there. And uh, stop by my Twitch channel in order to join us for other series on Thursdays and Saturdays as well. I promise that you will enjoy them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I will look forward to seeing you there. And we'll both look forward to seeing you back here next week. Mm -hmm. Same time, same place, guys. All right. And until then, as always, thanks for playing.